Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, bypass anti-debug in Roblox and be able to use cheat engine to find offsets. So the method that I'm going to be using is suspending all NTD, NTDLL threads in the Roblox process, which houses the logic for the anti-debug. And um, since we're suspending it, it won't be able to detect any um, debugging happening. So what the first step is obviously just open up Roblox. Since you're gonna need it, I hope it opens. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so open up Roblox. Just go onto the home page, and now you want to open up Process Hacker Two or Process Hacker. Um, you're gonna have to. You're gonna need this. So just um, either download it or yeah, whatever. If you already have it, just use it, and then run it as admin. Oh, suck my dick. And now go to uh, the search process list and find Roblox player beta.exe. Go to properties and head to threads right here. Go to threads. Now go through and every single thread you see that starts with NTDLL, suspend it. Right click and press suspend. Don't terminate it, just suspend it. Keep going, just find every single one. Suspend. Thread beyond termination. Very interesting. Uh, just gonna try it again then. Yeah, there we go. And then suspend. So every single one, because it houses the anti debug. So you're gonna need to do this. Just like this. I'm just gonna double check that all of them are off. I believe that's it. Yeah, okay. So now what we can do is we should be able to just open up Chi Engine. I'm gonna run as admin and Roblox should not crash and it should not trigger the anti-debug. As you can see, nothing happened. I'm just gonna open up a literal base plate. And what I'm gonna do is attach to Roblox like this. There you go, still no crash. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my offset list. I'm just gonna prove to you that this is actually working. I'm gonna get my, for example, walk speed offset, which is zero times 340. And I'm gonna add the address manually, description, walk speed offset, okay. And then if I browse this memory region, as you can see, this is the offset for walk speed. So you can see, I could just use Chi Engine as normal on Roblox without it crashing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, if you actually needed this, then subscribe. I haven't seen any tutorials on this shit, but it's completely necessary. So just, yeah, if you're trying to find offsets, do this. It's super easy.